This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and um, well, I wanted to do a collections video just to show where everything is and how many Transformers I have and how I display them because, you know, once in a while it's uh, it's fun to not brag, flex maybe a little bit, so. But then uh, if you take a closer look, I don't know if it's going to show properly on camera, but this thing is full of dust, you know, so I want to, I'm going to go and do probably What's the most tedious thing to do when you collect and it's uh, dusting not just the shelf but the figures as well because you don't want them to get uh, all messy but i'm a new collector like uh, it's been four years now maybe let's say four um two years youtubing four years collecting and i don't think i'm that good at it but then is there really an expert in figure dusting i don't know uh if there is please let me know in the comments uh, I'd like to check that out. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is what I have right now. You know, um, I have the Season uh, 2 Autobots uh, on three shelf, and then the Beast Wars, and then I have other collection leftovers. Same thing with the Decepticons. These are leftover figures from other continuity. And then I have my Season 3 uh, Decepticons right here. And then my season two and my season one. Lambro shelf, season three Autobots. No, that's movie Autobots, season three Autobots. And then the uh, Beast Wars character. Sorry for the angle of the camera. And then you have my season one stuff and my poster to keep track of all the figures. And then on this side, I have, well, my oldest. And then I have, you know, uh, non-Transformers characters, uh, the Jada toys, and then obscure Autobots, uh, my D&D &D dice stuff, and a couple more things. So, yeah, so dusting is probably, like I said, the uh, most tedious thing to do when you're a collector. So, what I want to do is uh, dust it up and then show you how I'm going to rearrange all that if I can, just... Uh, you know, make it uh, different. I don't know how you guys uh, do it. Uh, do you like to play around with your collection, move it about, or do you just leave it as static as possible? So let me know. So let me dust it off and uh, I'll uh, be right back with a new display. And I'm done with the dusting. So you have the Lambros here. I just need a legend scale Sunstreaker right here. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm waiting for one from Show Z Store, the Mech Fans Toys Sunstorm, who's, I don't know, it's been on pre-order for years. Uh, the uh, Monopoly board with my movie cast. And then I have my Season 3 bots. And my Beast Wars the uh, Predacons. And then here it's uh, part one of my leftovers and other series and you know crossover stuff um, you know stuff I want to keep but that doesn't really fit with the rest you have well my memorabilia of the rise of the beast movie with uh, RC on top uh, I didn't move my devastator because well he's big and clumsy uh, but I like uh, this. And, you know, Reflector is probably the only one that I don't display in robot mode. Because uh, I do like that camera. But if anyone has a Siege Reflector, just one. Uh, he's hard to find now, but uh, I'd like that. You have my Rainmakers and Nightbird, plus Siege Starscream. Then I have my Season 2 robots and Crimzeek. And the book. The book is super big, so I have to put it on the side. It's kind of clumsy. Then you have my season three and movie characters. Because there's not as many as them uh, of them that there is Autobots. Then you have my 
Uh, other cool, kind of nice, like all my Nemesis and Barricade, Galvatron, and Scourge. So Decepticon, the alternate universe, I guess. And then here I have the uh, Pretenders G2 uh, Legend Scale. I think it's Drift, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, Headmaster stuff and Crankcase. And then some books. Oh, and Twin Cast, who's for sale? Uh, the Greg Burger shelf. <laughs> and then the Dinobots. And my Snarl is getting painted right now. Um, I wanted to match the uh, golden stuff. Uh, season 1 uh, characters, part 1. With Holler, of course. He deserves it. And then part 2 with the Cybertronian modes and everything. Classics Mirage. I really like the display by season. Um, the uh, Maximals. Uh, I'm missing a Cheetor. I'm waiting for a Transmetal 2. Yeah, my X-Men collections. My boxes. I haven't touched those. And then I decided to put the Season 2 cast uh, on this shelf. Just to have them a little closer. Looks really good. And honestly, to have the two Guardians... Uh, on this shelf, it's uh, less clumsy than to have it all squeezed together here. So, And then I did also clean up my other shelf here. So, you know, big guys, big wingspan, stuff that uh, doesn't fit. I dusted off everything, even the Jada Toys. I just did a Jada Toys video I, uh, where I theorized that the Series 2 is based on the Rise of the Beast uh, cast uh you might want to check that out it's not really interesting but it's fun um other continuity and obscure uh, characters part two and here you have my D, &D dice lanes all dusted off and cleaned and i can't wait for series three or wave three and then probably the full extent of my marvel collection uh with galactus on top but uh those are my probably fav favorite uh, X-Men villain and hero uh, next to Juggernaut. And of course, I just love a good Beta Ray Bill. Like him better than Thor. And that's uh, my collection. So my question to you guys is, how do you display? How do you sort your collection? I go by seasons and clan. Um, what do you guys do? Do you just put... From the shortest to the tallest, the, uh, you know, by colors, by alphabetical orders, uh, let me know. I'm interested. Just post a video reply and uh, tag me on Facebook or Instagram. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this collection flexing. Oh, I forgot. Of course, now I've uh, moved my uh, Raziel King custom figure right next to me so that... Uh, now I can uh, play with it a little bit. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this collection tour. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives a right to be an asshole. Take care.